Hey art lovers, I'm C with Arts Clayton. I hope you're safe and healthy and ready to have some fun because today we're playing with makeup. I've acquired uh, quite a bit of makeup. I understand that this isn't a normal amount of makeup to have in the house and also makeup can be expensive so I also want to show you how to make face paint out of things that you may already have in your home. You'll need something to mix with. I just cut the bottom off a plastic bottle. A stirring stick. This um, was the end of a broken makeup stick actually. Something to scoop out your portions. And you're going to need some sort of container or a dish. You could even use just a paper plate to separate your colors when you're ready to paint. The ingredients are zinc oxide, commonly found in diaper rash cream. I got this at the Dollar Tree, by the way. Cornstarch. Some sort of light oil. I got this, um, it's actually watermelon scented body oil. You could also use baby oil, coconut oil, or you could even use vegetable oil. Uh, whatever you have around the house, you only need a small amount of that. Food coloring for color. You could use gel, powdered, uh, any kind of whatever you have in the house. And uh, baby lotion or face lotion to manipulate your textures. So it's a simple recipe and though it's easy to make as much or as little as you want. But start by adding one tablespoon of cornstarch into your mixing bowl. And then you're going to match that by adding one tablespoon of diaper cream or your zinc oxide into your mixing bowl. Now if you don't have diaper cream or the zinc oxide, you can use baby lotion, but your colors are going to be a little more see-through. It's not going to be as opaque as with the zinc oxide. Next, you're going to add a teaspoon, or roughly a teaspoon, of baby oil or whatever oil you have. It's a little awkward with a spray bottle, but I think I should do it. And you're going to add about a teaspoon of your baby lotion. And you're just going to mix that up until it's smooth. So the texture you're looking for is um, something like a thick frosting, just short of batter. If it comes out a little too watery, a little too chunky, all you need to do is either add more lotion or cornstarch. It's time to separate and add our color. Add a small amount to a container or you could just do small dollops on a paper plate. And then we'll add our food color. For white, you could just add a little more of your diaper cream or your zinc oxide. And get creative with your colors. If you add a little bit of blue to your green, you'll get a nice uh, aqua color. Now that we have a few colors to work with, I'll show you a simple design. This is a very simple design and you can use any colors you like. I'm going to use my fingers since not everyone has brushes. Choose the main color and apply that around your mouth, pulling away from your lips. Cover most of your upper lip, but leave an oblong gap askew to one side or the other of your lower lip. If you're not looking to be covered in paint, you can stop here, but I'm going to really go for it. Now to add some furry eyebrows. Just find your natural brow line and extend short strokes up and away from your nose. Now choose a color for your tongue. I'm using a red lipstick. It's time to fill in the gap we left on our lower lip and chin.
Now I'm going to use a darker color to add some definition to my upper lip. Follow parallel to your inner lip line and curl up towards your nose at the ends like a smile. Now use the same dark color to connect the center of your lip to the center of your nose. Also to shade the underside of your nose. Try to camouflage your nostrils. If you have a spare eyeliner, they're great for outlining details. Now add a few whisker spots. This could easily be altered into a cat design by extending the whiskers. Coloring only your bottom lip and filling in your chin with fur. Drawing a few lines extending from your eyebrows will give your fur a dramatic effect. Now I'm going to color in my nose pink, but you can use whatever color you like. Our ears will start with a triangle just above our brows that sort of leans out from the center of our face or our nose. I'm going to use pink this time as well. Here you can use your main color to outline your triangle for pointy ears or cut off the tip of your triangle with a vertical almond shape for floppy ears. Now add as much fur as you want. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys had fun. Remember to wash your hands and be sure to sterilize your tools before you put any of them to your face. Stay healthy.